Uh, hello campers. All right, so if you've got a uh, A-liner or other small RV and you got a room air conditioner installed instead of the RV uh, air, which is often on the roof, um, what if uh, it stops cooling very well, like it's not giving really ice cold air? If you're not somebody who's used to using room air conditioners, you may not know what to do. It doesn't work like central air. So let's go through what you would do to check the problem instead of trying to get it fixed by somebody. First thing, you gotta find how to pop this open to find the filter. So on mine, it pops open here, see it's next to the sink. And then you sh here's a filter, and looky there. Because this is what was happening to mine. It was not, it was blowing fine, but the air was just barely cool. So look at how filthy that is. So obviously that's the major problem, if not, the problem. So I'm going to obviously take this in and clean it up. Uh, another thing to look at are the coils, okay, uh, behind it. Now problem is, and look there's some stuff there. The problem is uh, getting to it the way they have it here in an RV like this. I'd have to get under the sink. Now from what I can tell the coils look pretty clean. I don't really see a problem with the coils in here and on the outside the same thing. The coils look pretty clean. I think it's mainly the filter. Now if the coils did look dirty, what you would want to do is uh, spray them. You have to put something underneath the air conditioner to get any of this, but spray like mold and mildew stuff on it on a heavy stream, spray all the coils, and then uh, a few minutes later spray it off with water, like with a, a spray bottle with water, and do that on the inside and outside. On the outside you could do it with a hose. Um, that would clean the coils off without having to remove this whole unit, because you certainly don't want to do that, what a pain in the butt that would be. But from what I can see, I don't think it's a problem. Uh, with this area, you know, I think it's mainly the filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the filter off and uh, then I'm going to hook this up and we'll see uh, how the air conditioner works. So let me take the filter in. We're going to just clean it a filter off. Okay, so now I'm going to just wipe off the filter just into a trash can. Again, there's another look at it. Get it off what I can like this before I uh, spray it with soapy water. Yeah, look how bad it is. Got it. Don't want to be too rough on it, but and that's bad. You know, I don't use the, uh, you know, we use the uh, air conditioner and the A-liner occasionally, but it probably doesn't get used more than eh, a week, a year. So you could, you know, for most people, if you're only using it that much, you could go several years without the filter getting really bad. And that's probably why the coils are still clean. So that's why you um, don't need to do this too often. People who run room air conditioners all the time because they don't have central air, you gotta probably clean these a lot more. Okay, so I got that off pretty much. Well, it's still a little bit on it. So now, I'm going to spray it with some soapy water and kind of let it soak. I couldn't get all that off, but I'm going to see it after spraying it. And then I'll let it dry out and then wipe it off again. So I'm going to let this sit out in the sun. And then I'll spray it off real good, see if I can get the stuff that's kind of sticking on there. So I'm going to leave this out in the sun now. All right. Okay, now I'm going to uh, rinse it off in the hose real thoroughly. See if I can get the rest of that dirt off. Doesn't want to come off here. Yeah, that doesn't want to come off. That's really well. I'm probably not doing something great, but at least this is going to help. It should make a huge difference, even if I don't get every little dirt spot on. So anyway, now all the soap is out, and now I'm going to let it dry out uh, really well. All right, well, here's the outside of the unit. Um, like I said, I was looking at the coils, looking inside. It doesn't really look that dirty in there, so I just don't think that's a problem. So that's why all we're going to do is replace the 
the filter after it's been cleaned and then we're gonna we're gonna try it see how it works if it blows uh, nice cold air okay so now for the moment of truth we're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna just wait a few minutes and see uh, how cool the air is okay uh, I let it run I let it run about uh, 10 15 minutes came out and checked it it's definitely appreciably cooler um, it's not not bad at all it's definitely better than it was no question now is this cool enough if you're going to go to the keys in the summer like uh, I was planning on doing for a couple nights for scuba diving I don't know I think it can be cooler than this um, it's not bad. I don't know if this is really cool enough, but I think I felt a cooler in this. So I think I am going to clean the coils, even though they look clean. There could be, you know, even a little bit of dirt on them could be making a difference. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, this mold and mildew uh, remover. The problem we have here that you don't have in a regular air conditioning unit is getting to it. The way this particular unit is located in this A-liner is behind this sink. So I can't really open this very well to get to the coils. I'm going to have to hold it open because I can't even get this door off of the way they have it very easily. So I'm going to have to spray down. I'm not going to probably hit everything, but I'm going to hit it as much as I can. Then I'm going to let it soak for about 5-10 minutes, and I'm going to spray it off with water from a... Windex bottle with water in it, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the outside of the coils. So, I can't really film this, but I'm going to be spraying the inside of the coils with that mold mildew remover, and then I'm going to let it sit, and then I'll go do the outside, and then I'll come back in and use a spray bottle of water to rinse it out thoroughly. I do have a towel underneath here. Put a towel underneath to get up any, an old towel to get up any, uh, the uh, mildew remover that that comes down into the sink because I don't want that in there. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, now I've let it sit about 10-15 minutes. I'm going to take the Windux bottle of water, spray it out best I can in there. Then I'll go to the other side. I can use jugs of water or a hose to rinse it out thoroughly. Okay, now I'm outside. Now I'm going to take uh, some jugs of water where I can pour it right in here. Unfortunately, it's hard to do with one hand, but I can pour it in there to really rinse from the top. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to rinse from the side here. It is clean water coming out. And I'll rinse this. take the second bottle and do the same thing to rinse it out thoroughly. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so I let it uh, dry out a little bit and uh, now we tried it again, turned it back on. I'd say it's uh, a slightly, just a little bit better now after doing that. Not a huge difference. I think the filter was the main issue, but I think it's slightly better after having kind of flushed out the coils, uh, done what I did. Uh, another thing to keep in mind if you're in really hot weather, like uh, Florida Keys or South Florida in the summer when you got huge amounts of humidity and hot weather or anywhere you go, it does help, like, see, I've got this uh, shelving here, and this kind of blocks the airflow over to this side uh, of the trailer because it's, it's slightly, the way this one is, it's slightly on this side where the master bed is. Um, so you get you don't get enough airflow over there. So what, what I would do if I was in the Keys is I would move this. I would not have this there. I'd find another alternative arrangement for it. And I would put a small fan right here to blow, circulate the air in that way. So if you are having trouble with your air conditioning, cooling, the whole uh, A-liner or small trailer, a small fan uh, pointed towards uh, the areas of the trailer that are not cooling as well and right next to the air conditioner will help. So we have done that before and it does make a difference. All right, so hopefully this uh, gave you some ideas and some help. 
Uh, if you have any questions, we feel free to let me know. And if you want to support the channel, just click uh, an Amazon link in the description box below, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much.